Welcome to part two to my video on taking advantage of the illusion of time to set monthly rituals. And as I stated in that video, the end of the month is all about release, but in the beginning of the month is all about receiving. So yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm like, what the hell was that? My bed is not made. I usually do make my bed in the morning, but I left it today on purpose because I wanted to use it for my video. Okay. End of the month, we cleansed our energy and everything. Beginning of the month, we're gonna cleanse our rooms. We're gonna prepare our rooms for the beginning of the month. Start this shit off right. I got badass bitches in the... All right, let's go. How was this what? <laughs> I just got this new bed frame. It's a metal bed frame, and my bed is platform now. They said you didn't need um, a box spring with this specific one. I just kept the box spring that I had. I just kept the box ring that I had because I like a really raised platform bed. I'm acting like this shit's the hardest thing in the world, bro. And yeah, I got black sheets. I love clean black sheets. White sheets are nice too, but I just like, I like things to look clean. Like, I don't like my shit to look crazy. There's nothing wrong with it looking crazy. Like, I could, I could get like black other sheets. I don't know. I really like my black sheets. Do what you want with that information. I honestly never used sheets until I got this sheet set. I was like, let me be a real adult and just start using sheets. Like, because using sheets makes you an adult. Everybody knows that. You're not an adult until you start using sheets. We're going to make it in one pull. Done. I love this comforter, though. It's like super soft on the inside. Keep you nice and warm. I like my room freezing, whether it's winter or summer. I like my room freezing when I'm going to bed. I'll wake up in the middle of winter and it's cold as frick. And I got my little space heater over there. You, I'm pretty sure you got it in your hand right there. Yeah, in your left hand. I see it, bro. Put that shit back. But yeah, I got my little space heater, so I'll wake up and turn that shit on in the winter time. But it's gotta be, because I get dressed in here. Believe it or not, I get dressed naked. Oh yeah, this video is way longer. Do this shit with me. Like, do what I'm doing as you're watching this video. Today is the first of the month. Turn on this video and ma make your bed, bro. Make your bed. Your shit's dirty. <sighs> Nasty ass. Uh... I told you in the last video that the beginning of the month is my favorite. So, the funny part is, it's nighttime for me. It's nighttime April 30th to me. Don't repeat that. We gonna start this shit off right. Stay. Put it here. This is my number one. And I did I sleep like this at night. Like that. That's more like it. I have my sage, previously burnt sage, and there's still some left in here, but not gonna lie, I like need to dump this out because it's the beginning of the month. Like, I'm not holding on to any energy that's within this, so I'm gonna dump this out and light some new sage right now. How I like to burn my sage since it ain't in one of them, it's not a smudge stick or anything. I just put it in my shell and I'm just gonna light it. It's just like such an uncomfortable position for me to be in right now. And then I like to shake it up. Come by. Robot die. Baby shaved it ass, shaved a pumpkin pie, twin sister side by side. And as usual, y'all know the vibes. I'm giving this intention right now. So, there ain't, I know there ain't no ghosts in here. If, but if there was, they would get the fuck out. I'm dumb. I could have sat in my bed this whole time. This right here is gonna cleanse my entire space, both physically and internally, and bring me peace and wealth and success. And I decide that this month is going to open my eyes in ways that I didn't think were possible and I will learn something new that will forever change my life this month. That's my intention. If you haven't seen my intention video, go check that out. It's about how to live your life with intention and become a master manifester. Like, I really like making these spiritual videos and stuff, but... Ghosts. <laughs> it's hard to incorporate jokes into these shits sometimes because I have so much to actually say that I did ask be forgetting to have a personality. And this is how long I like I will take my time with this. Like I love music. I wake up, first thing I do is put on music usually. But right now, like there are certain times where I don't even like to listen to music because I really just want to be with my shot, with my thought, with my shots, with my shots. Who got us? Who wants shots? With my thought. With my thoughts. With my thoughts. <laughs> Where are they at? <laughs> Bro. You can hear like my fridge buzzes. I got a mini fridge in my room. I should be buzzing. I should probably just unplug it if that's just extra. I'm right back. I need something to drink. You want anything? I can make I can make that happen. Alright, we're right back. 
stay right there. So this is my water, and it does have cucumbers and limes in it, like I said in the last video. I have my little diffuser here. I already lit an incense, I did some sage, and now I'm just gonna do my little diffuser, cause this really like moisturized my whole room. My throat felt kinda dry. I'm gonna go with some lavender. I literally put OD every single time. I think I got this shit from like Michael or some shit and then I just put it on. Alright, now I'm gonna smoke my little lavender clip and then I'm gonna read my Archangel cards. I honestly have to get a new tarot deck. I keep losing my tarot decks, bro, and I think it's bad luck for me. Like, I don't know, so I just, I have to get another one, but I'm just waiting to do that. But yeah, these are my Archangel cards. If you don't know what Archangel cards are, it's like your angel speaking to you through your cards. You could read other people's Archangel cards just like you can read other people's tarot cards or whatever. And I'm smoking a lavender blunt. This is, this is spliff, but a lavender spliff because I am trying to stop smoking weed I know it's crazy but I like to smoke this is super relaxing and it's got toe in it too I know like stop smoking weed and put toe in my fucking whatever but anyways it's got toe I have to like smoke it though because it's just gonna burn the fuck out it's like when you pass that shit to somebody and it's only a clip anyways and they just, they just can't shut the fuck up and you're like I would roll another one but I'm really out of papers my perfect combination is half toe <laughs> one quarter lavender and one quarter rose. Sue me. That's the recipe. Baby shake the ass, shake the pumpkin pie, twin sister side by side. We're almost done. We're almost done. Trust me. I also changed it to a t-shirt. It is calendar time. This is one of my favorite parts, which is what I say after every step. I have two calendars. One is by Alex Gray. It's a spiritual calendar, so each one has its own like little picture here. This was April because, you know, 420, bitch. All the other ones have been from like 2017, 2014. This artwork is from 1985. This is what it looks like. I go like this so y'all can see it. I just wanna fuck Demi, not all on her titties. Y'all know that song? <laughs> I remember when there was a time where I really didn't ever use a calendar ever. I didn't ever use ever a calendar ever. I didn't use a. <laughs> they told me to, bro. They told me to do that. Curse you. Wait, what is it? Curse you, odd parents. What show is that from? Curse you, Phineas and Ferb. Curse you, fairies. If you are watching this in May, I'm gonna just tell you this right now. There's Mercury retrograde until June 22nd. So, hibernate until June 22nd. So, I like to just make notice of full moons, new moons, and holidays and shit. Because I just want to know what's good. I will write down the exact time of the peaks of the new moon and full moons but I do have a second calendar and if y'all are wondering what the second calendar was it's the lunar calendar <laughs> I know bro I'm crazy what's wrong with me and it's glow in the dark this is May in case you care I just love visuals again life has no meaning unless you give it meaning I feel like I'm bringing time to life when I do this it actually tells me the exact moon phase of every single day and I'm not gonna link any of these below because they don't pay me for that I'm gonna show you how I mark that one up after I show you how I mark this one up after I figure out which figure out after I look with my eyes and see with my hands and see that it's that when the full moons are when the new moons are whatever I mark my calendar up so you're marking up your shit too, right? You got an iPhone, you got a Samsung. Just put it in your calendar, just put it in your calendar. Okay, so now I'm gonna directly show you guys how I actually mark up my calendar for real, for real. Yeah, I hope you guys can see this well enough. I just mark this down with anything that I want to keep in the forefront of my mind the entire month. What I want this month to be directly about. I write down my affirmations every single day or I try to write down my affirmations every day in my manifestation notebook. So this is not that, but I do like to write down what I want my month to be about and what I want to remember every day because we tend to forget, that's what I'm saying, we're using time to our advantage. So we wanna keep notice and keep track of shit. But I don't wanna mark up the whole shit. So I'll just write really small across this whole shit as many lines as I need to, exactly what I want this month to be about. I'm gonna write gratitude, wealth, health, or I accidentally wrote healthy, <laughs> thriving, success, growth, manifestation, energy, roots, reason, 
the next three words go hand in hand. <laughs> Hard, passionate, sex, <laughs> work. Hard, passionate, work. <laughs> Determination, freedom, abundance, unexpected success, kindness, spring, clarity, commitment, vulnerability, inner harmony. I'll mark that off with a heart at the end. So I have all my shit written just like this throughout the whole shit. Like basically every week is filled up. As the weeks go by, I'll start to fill in more shit. Like I'll write right over this or underneath it. Like I'll just fill it in as shit goes by. I do all this to go back to and use for my end of the month ritual. I'll use this whole thing for my end of the month ritual because this gave me an idea of what I wanted to accomplish. And then I'll mark down what I did accomplish. And then I'll mark down shit that I want to remember and I want to recollect back on in the end of the month and release, you know? Sometimes I'll put like a little blurb or quote right here. Maybe this month I'll just put, you succeed, you have no worries. No worries. And then I'm gonna put, I succeed, I have no worries. I choose to constantly grow. I choose to constantly manifest. I choose to constantly remind myself of specific shit for specific reasons. This is one of the ways that I give my life purpose. There is just so much room for growth with a new month. It's a, it's a new start. So on this calendar, I used to write all over the moon pictures, but then I was like, you know what? These are really pretty and I don't want to fucking write on them and ruin them because I want to save them. Every month, I write down my streams of income and i know what you're thinking isn't that for poor people i know but no you know i i'm so rich and i just do this for fun because i'm just so rich and i like to look at all the money that i'm making because i'm i just have so much money money just loves my bank account i'm running out of things to do with my money i don't even need any more it just keeps coming it just keeps coming like it's crazy so I like to write down my streams of income on a post-it note and put it on my moon calendar. I don't like to just list them, like I'll straight up number them. And honestly, the average millionaire has seven streams of income. So even if you get to like three streams of income and you don't have another seven, you would even just bullshit. I use like the most minuscule things as like I even use, I have my video on why I still use sticker.co. I make a couple dollars off of sticker.co and I'll still put that down as a stream of income because it's a stream, it's one stream of income still. There was a time where I did write down my usual streams of income and then I just bullshitted the rest and put what I wanted them to be and before I knew it that's what like it turned into it like you know what I mean so that's what this whole thing is about it's just kind of manifesting wealth even though we're rich so filthy rich how did I spell that shit wrong bro that's literally my brand you're writing them down too right okay and then most we can share afterwards bye And then I like to stick this on my moon phase calendar. And then I hang these up right next to each other where you saw before. It's smelling really good in here now. Like these oils smell so good. Do you want to see the other side of my room real quick? That's you right there. That's you. That's my boyfriend. <laughs> I got my water. I got your girl's panties on my chair. Yeah, she left in there. She said. Yesterday we cleaned our space energetically. Go check out that video really because there's a lot of good information in there. I promise there's a lot of good shit in there. Would I, do, would I lie to you? Don't listen to- he don't know shit. Today's ritual wouldn't be as effective if it weren't for yesterday's ritual. We set the intention for our entire month. I hope you had fun. Like I hope you actually did the shit with me because if you didn't, I will find out. And when my feelings are hurt, bro, there's only going to be one way for you to make it up to me. <laughs> happy beginning of the month i hope your month is filled with blessings i hope you wrote down whatever you wanted to get out of this month if you wanted to get a lot of money out of this month then in your calendar you should have just been putting wealth financial freedom financial success financial balance but depending on what you want out of the month is what you should put in that calendar bro the calendar is the key the calendar is the key hopefully you guys really created a space for is this gonna make sense what i'm about to say right now don't look at me like that after I'm about to say what I'm about to say, but we hopefully you created a space for your time and a time for your space.
<laughs> stay hydrated, stay healthy, stay rich, stay abundant, stay successful. Life is all about the meaning you give it, the intention you give it, the time and space you create within yourself and within this world. So if you just started doing this, you're in for a treat. Wait six months after doing this shit. Your life will be changed, bro. This this shit that has changed my life. Like, you know how many times I would wake up being like, ain't nothing to live for. Ain't nothing to do. Time is nothing. This, this, that. Yeah, no shit. Time is nothing unless we make it something. So, see you guys in the next video. You already know I love you. And say it back. Say it back. Say it back. Peace and love.